Hey everyone, and welcome back to Berlin Noir. Today we are on episode 5, and uh, it's a pretty good one. If I do say so myself, I really enjoyed uh, building this build. And as you can see, uh, it is a train station, and it is the part one of a two part build. Uh, in this episode, we are building the Potsdamer uh, train station, and then part two, coming out next week, is going to be the one down the street from here, being the Onhalter uh, station. So, yeah, so this is, uh, I really enjoyed building this. I've never done any sort of sizable train station before. Uh, just in general even playing this game not of course because this is the first uh, train station not including the small s uh stations that I built earlier but uh, this is the first like I guess definitely the first terminus station in the city but yeah I've never built any sort of large station before so this was fun because uh, no there was nothing on the workshop that uh, was modeled off of this actual historical train station so I had to uh, basically throw a couple things together as you can see here starting out I just laid a couple of those plain tracks underneath there and then I uh, used the uh, the large cover that you saw that I used briefly to just shrink with PO is something from South America actually which I was originally just going to use that as the station since it looked all right and reasonably similar to the actual station that existed here but for whatever reason like uh even the like that station wasn't a terminus so it was a through station but i figured i'd still be able to use it as like a, an end point but apparently trains wouldn't spawn in and no trains would actually uh, go there so for whatever reason i guess i just couldn't use that one so i just decided to turn into po and cover up the just individual simple tracks there, which I did uh, cover up with uh, a little better, more realistic to this time uh, platform uh, props just to make it a little nicer, which I did cut out majority of it, just that small bit a second ago just because it was very repetitive and annoying since I had to zoom in into the building and it just didn't make good of viewership. So I cut out majority of it and also just to save time in the episode. But uh, yeah, so for this was a bit of a challenge because I didn't have much to go on. The only thing I had to go off of was this right here. Uh, this is the resource that I mentioned before. But as you can see, it's a fairly long station. It's got large blocks surrounding it of houses, I suppose. But uh, as you can see, it's not, it's not the best quality image, of course, seeing as that is from 1928. But it was it definitely was a useful resource to go off of because uh, I mean something like this just this small row of houses here I, I never would have thought to have put that in but having looked at the map there and also a couple pictures that were on the internet though only really only a couple that were actually good enough to look at to use as a resource but uh yeah I was able to see this there and just throw a couple buildings down to make this very long long row of houses which uh, I chose the type of buildings that had both a back lot and like uh, something on the front so I just deleted those couple buildings there because I didn't want a big just big ugly wall just sitting there with nothing detailed so I uh, used only buildings that had some sort of uh, entrance in the back or windows even at least something just so it looked a little nicer though I, towards uh, the end of the block I actually threw a couple smaller buildings just built them on both sides of the street so it looked like one large one and that worked out all right but uh, so here just detailing the front of the station um, looking at the picture that I just had up a second ago from the satellite view uh, there appeared to be like a parking lot, a very, very small parking lot, which I was very surprised by. And who knows, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just cars happen to be lined up in that way that it looks like a parking lot. 
but I just, I don't know, I mean, personally I thought parking lots were not going to be a thing back in Europe at this time, but who knows, maybe they were, but yeah, so I just threw uh, a very small parking lot type thing here, just placing a couple prop cars, I didn't actually lay any uh, parking lot spaces themselves, so cars would actually, you know, spawn there and park there, but uh, just props. But, so, uh, in the previous episode, I mentioned about, you know, those of you interested in doing some sort of historical aspect of the city, and, you know, writing any sort of actual historical, you know, events that can pair up with some cinematics or something like that, or also even making up some sort of historical aspect or something that you know it's plausible during this time just to add some you know uniqueness uniqueness and you know personal touch that you guys could get engaged in and you know enjoying the city but uh i didn't really get much response from that uh i'm not sure if people just didn't have any ideas or if you all just weren't too fond of the idea in general but since people still asked about it, like just to suggest doing it, I'll give you all one more shot, <laughs> I suppose, to uh, let me know what you think. Because, like I said before, I'm, I can go either way. I, I definitely like the idea to get you guys engaged more and have you write any sort of stories or historical you know, stories about the city that we're building here. But uh, I want it to come from you guys only, so I don't have to, you know, if it comes from me, that's, I don't, I don't see that as, as cool if it were to come from the actual audience, so, meaning, of course, you guys. So, yeah, depending on what happens in uh, the comments on this episode, we'll determine if that sort of thing happens in the future. So, yeah, if you have any ideas, or at least if you like the idea, not necessarily, maybe if you don't have any stories, but if you like the idea, just let me know because I definitely I would like to do it but yeah it's up to you guys so let me know in the comments but so here continuing with the station so the real train station that existed back then uh, I guess in 1929 it would have been more than just the two track I guess kind of four platform thing that I built there the most the big part of the station it had a that was more or less where it started out as to my understanding but of course it expanded greatly since it was originally built in 1838 so you know 90 years about plenty of expansion so i tr i experimented with throwing some small stations uh, just individual tracks on both sides of the main part here but nothing really looked right i didn't have any assets that uh, or fit toward, you know, that weren't modern that actually would fit in well to this time period. So instead, I just decided to plop down what you're seeing here. So just a little, I guess, storage yard for some uh, train engines. And also a second ago, I had placed down a, uh, it's from uh, Kansas City actually, some. Uh, uh, freight line station which no cars or no trains actually go there or spawn there which I think I don't I don't know if it's just I don't I mean I don't think it has to do with my city because I'm I do recall using that asset before in previous cities and just no trains spawning or going to that station for whatever reason so I'm not sure if it's just something broken with the asset or not but honestly that's all right because I didn't really want freight trains coming here because this is just going to be, you know, pedestrian, or not pedestrian, a, uh, uh, what am I saying? A, uh, for commuter use, commuter use, commuter trains, no freight lines. But, uh, yeah, so I thought it looked all right there. And also, given the, how this game functions, if I added a bunch more actual commuter uh, platforms, I mean, even now, really only two of the tracks or, or two of the platforms are in use so if I added a bunch more it'd probably look kind of funny having a ton of platforms but really only a couple in use which 
that's just how this game works, I guess. I, because I tried out this one mod, uh, I think it was something like optimized outside connections or something along those lines. Basically what the mod did is uh, make sure, or at least do its best to make sure all your transportation vehicles, so trains or ships, planes, whatever it would be, uh, were full to capacity when they're actually in use. So. I know in the base game you'll have a ton of one vehicle, so like I said, planes, trains, whatever it may be, you'll have a ton of something in use, but if you actually look at it, it's maybe 10% to capacity, you know, which is really annoying because that can clog up your train lines in particular. So that's why I got it, because I didn't want to have a ton of trains coming in with you know, 25, 50 people on a train that holds 3, 400 because that would be a ton of trains that would just clog up the uh, tracks and that wouldn't be good. So I tried that mod out, but I it I ran into some issues with it. Uh, on the outside of the map, where the trains spawn normally, norm I mean, for those of you that have actually messed around with stuff like this and looked at how this all works, basically a bunch of... Uh, I guess your sims will just wait on the outside of the map and uh, just line up as if they're actually at a train station and then some train will spawn in and then they'll all get in. However, for whatever reason, ha once I tried out this mod I just talked about, the trains would spawn in, but they would like, they wouldn't fill up. They would, the, tr the train would like start to move and then just like, disappear and respawn and then repeat itself over and over again and no one would actually board the train uh, which is really annoying but some trains would actually spawn in with people and they would all be actually over capacity so at least the mod in that sense worked but so I'm not sure if that mod is screwing up with something how the trains spawn on the outside of the map because also with people actually at the station when one train would actually come into the station uh, only like a very small percentage of people would actually get on the train and it would go away at maybe only five ten percent capacity which I don't know if the mod only deals with uh, filling transportation vehicles to capacity like when they sp spawn in on the outskirts of the map or if it's just like in general it's supposed to uh, make sure that all vehicles are filled at least to the best uh, filled to capacity the best that it can do so yeah I'm not really sure I'm not sure it's, I think it's a new mod or I, don't know, I could totally be wrong that it's at least new to me I've never seen it before <laughs> but if any of you are familiar with that let me know because I just uh, turned it off, but I haven't loaded in, loaded in the game since I shut it off, so I'm not sure if there's going to be a solution. So that's probably honestly something I should do first. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you are familiar with it or know any solutions, or if it's actually an issue with the mod, or if it's something else going on. But so here I, uh, as you can see, just detailing the platform. Nothing too fancy. I just added some benches, some lights, and then also. Uh, kiosk and a couple advertisement columns uh, which I love those advertisement columns because they're so detailed and obviously for the time period extremely you know, realistic they're on nearly every corner and every popular popularly visited uh, area but yeah those are these kiosks here that I'm about to place yeah they're I love these things but uh, yeah <laughs> that's another thing that drives me nuts about this game is so looking at the uh, uh, passengers here, as you can see, they're all very modern, and I don't know why the game does this, but they're always ordered in like a rainbow court, uh, like order. They'll go, they'll be the reds, and the reds slowly transition to like oranges, to yellows, to eventually greens, and then blues, and then purple colored, you know, people. It just looks so weird, especially when you have a ton of people lined up like at a bus stop or that train line there but I yeah I I don't really know what to do with that because I did install uh, 1950s citizens so they're 
uh, dressed with, you know, clothing of the 1950s, which definitely matches, considering it's not very detailed, there's tiny little people walking around, so they look definitely as if it's in their, you know, 1920s, but... Uh, unfortunately, you can't really do anything, I don't, I don't think, with tourists. And pretty much everyone using this uh, train station right now is a tourist. And I know, I believe it was Bloody Penguin who released a mod where it's no vanilla citizens. So basically you could uh, install any sort of citizen from the workshop, so like the 1950 ones, and they would be the only ones that spawn. Which I tried out that mod, but it didn't really seem to work for me uh in fact at times i felt like it did the opposite and i would actually notice more uh, vanilla citizens than uh actual 1950 ones so i uninstalled that uh i'm not maybe i should try it again to see if it'll help with like the train stations here so i don't have a ton of super colorfully dressed people waiting for the trains because kind of ruins to some extent the screenshots and cinematics when you have a bunch of super modern and colorful uh, citizens who look like they're going on a tropical vacation just standing around lining up in order of how they you know the colors of their clothes so I'll probably have to try that mod again which I guess another thing let me know if you guys have used that mod as well and if you've run into a similar issue of really not doing anything, or if it's worked for you, who knows? I mean, some people, I mean, with every mod, some people have issues, some people don't. Of course, it pretty much always has to do with some other mod getting in the way and screwing things up, but uh, troubleshooting in this game with mods is an absolute pain, and I, I tend to avoid it at all costs unless it's, you know, my game's fried and our save is corrupted. So I, I know, then I panic and try and figure out what mod screwed up what. But unless that's the case, I avoid <laughs> pretty much all the time any sort of troubleshooting to find out if some if a mod's not working. Because unless it's an essential mod, uh, I don't care too much. But so I guess here, as you can see, just a little uh, what I turn into a small park here. Just I didn't really know what to down there. I think there might have been a park there based on some of the satellite images I saw and just pictures of this time. But it, was, it was hard to tell. But uh, yeah, so if you were to look at that uh, satellite view image that I had at the very beginning up on the screen and look at how the train tracks there cross the river, they are, it's from what I what I built here is much uh, larger than what existed in real life. Uh, the ones in real life didn't have such a, a turn in them. They more or less just crossed literally uh, just straight across a small little river there. But uh, how I have the river set up and just the land on the opposite side of the river. Uh, I had to do it this way where I had the tracks there curve kind of a lot uh, to one direction but I mean that's something that probably doesn't matter too much because I, I don't think that ruins any sort of realism uh, with Berlin or this time period but in case any of you notice that that is why I had to do that and when I do build so next week I will build the Anhalter train station, which uh, I plop down in this episode, so you may, depending on the camera angle, maybe catch a peek of where it is. Uh, just a, you know, a block down, more or less, block or two, there we go, right? <laughs> briefly there in the right side. But uh, yeah, I plopped it down, but I, I don't do any sort of detailing or anything. That is completely reserved for the next episode. Because honestly, when I started this out, I th honestly thought I was going to be able to do both stations in one episode. And boy, was I totally wrong, because this took a, a good amount of time and definitely had to cut out a lot of footage. Uh, there was a lot of me, uh, just it was fairly disconnected also, my building. Uh, usually I'm better, but I bounced around a lot more than usual, which I'm sorry if that may 
bug you a bit if you notice that in this video, but for whatever reason, just I would bounce around between some of the tracks and then uh, detailing outside the station and maybe some of the houses here like this like I revisit these houses here and just place some tiles or uh, stone decals and then some trees just to add some detail here but yeah I mean sometimes I do that when I'm building just to break up the monotony of whatever I'm doing but this this episode in particular I did a whole lot more so yeah, again, sorry if that bugged you or if it was hard to follow. Uh, I, I'll try and take a you know more conscious effort to you know try and focus on one area, detail it, finish it up, and then move on to a next area because it definitely makes it easier to watch the video. And yeah, so I'll try. No promises though, because <laughs> you know old habits die hard. And if I'm in the mood, if I'm if I'm in a if I'm in a you know, just focus tunnel vision building on something. I, I probably won't be able to actually t make an effort to build a certain way if I'm you know, in the zone. <laughs> but uh, so here is just a small little industrial zone that I added in. So I don't believe anything like this existed here, uh, at least based on the images I was looking at. But it was a sizable little spot here, and I didn't want to continue with those houses all the way down to the end. So I figured I'd add a small little, just industrial looking lot with, uh, yeah, just more or less just miscellaneous items placed down. Nothing in particular. Some, some crates eventually, some wooden blocks, uh, just random crap more or less. But it looks alright, I mean, I, I will have to find some more props, some more diverse props on the workshop for like industry and like construction type stuff. Uh, I mean, I'm guessing there's not a lot that'll match this time period, but I'm sure there's, you know, a few things here and there. But yeah, I'll have to find those and install them. Also with like dirt and grass decals, because I did place... Uh, a little while ago in the episode some dirt decals on the uh, gravel around the train tracks just uh, so it's not one solid you know gravel texture but uh, I didn't really have any other options that I installed so I'll have to go visit the workshop and look for some more decals to make it a little more you know realistic some darker lighter greener browner whatever uh, you know patches on the on the dirt there with the tracks but so this is pretty much going to wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then make sure to, you know, stay tuned for next week when we wrap this all up, really, and finish off with building the Anhalter Bahnhof right down the street and kind of wrap up this little train station area. Uh, if you liked, uh, be sure to subscribe. It's going to help out a lot, and I will see you next week.